to my channel and as you can tell from the title today I'll be doing a beauty haul and it has been a while since I actually got some new beauty products because I've just been using the same things over and over again but recently I decided to treat myself and also because I've run out of some of the items so I had to stock up so the first item you might have already seen it in a couple of my makeup videos and it is the Innisfree no sebum mineral pack. Prior to this, I was using the Tarte finish powder and I really like how the powder or the particles are just so small and so fine and they feel really smooth on my skin. So um, I got that in the Dulux size so I ran out of it. Um, so I wanted to get the original size but my sister recommended me to this Innisfree one and she told me that it felt completely the same as the Tarte one so I went to the store and tried and I just got it immediately. It's really soft and it's a lot more affordable as well compared to the Tarte one and it's also very affordable compared to the Tarte one. Um, if you get the loose if you get the loose powder one, it's even cheaper. I think it's like 10 bucks. And if you get the pressed powder one, it's for 17 bucks. I decided to go for pressed powder so it's easier to apply it when I'm outside. And since it's so small, it's also very convenient to bring outside because whenever um, your face get kind of oily or shiny, um, this is a very good product to mattify your entire face. My next item is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I am in love with it. I feel like it really helps cover my dark eye circles. So I was running out of it and therefore I decided to get um, it. And it's now selling in stores so it's a lot more convenient to get it. I was actually looking for the shade light because medium is kind of like my skin tone and I wanted something brighter for my under eyes but um, somehow they only have medium everywhere I checked so I decided to just go for medium. My next item is a lipstick and this is the NYX Butter Lipstick. This is my... Oh my god, it's my fifth NYX Butter Lipstick. And this is in the shade Razzle Fiesta. It's quite like a fusion colour but it's not really. I have it on my lips right now and it's something more subtle than a fusion colour but it still has that feel to it I think. It has a little bit of purple on the tones which I can appreciate because I have nothing that um, looks like this. And I really wanted to try out something a little bit more special so I feel like this is something special but it's not too much. It's not too um, different, it's not too shocking so I think this is a nice um, transition shade. Um, my next item is a nail polish. It has been a while since I've got a nail polish from a different brand other than Michelle nail polish. Um, this time I got this nail polish. It's the Ciare, Ciare, Ciare I think. Ciare nail polish in the shade Funfair. And it is this baby pink color I would say. If you don't know by now, I use a lot of pink nail polishes. I have a lot of different colored nail polishes at home but I always just go for pink nail polish because I feel like it just suits a lot of my outfits and it looks very feminine and very cute. Um, so I don't have a baby pink nail polish. So when I saw this and I tried it on in the store, I feel like it looks very nice, very feminine, very spring, very summer. It's very appropriate for that. And so since I don't have this sort of pink, I decided to get it. And I'm not sure if Sephora is having a sale or whatsoever, but the usual price of this is 20 bucks. But I got it for 6 I have no idea if it's on sale because I didn't really see the promotion sign or anything but um, anyway she scanned it and it's six dollars so I think it's really worth it because this is quite a high-end nail polish and for six dollars it's really a steal. At the moment I don't feel anything too special about this it just applies normally and it's about two to three coats which is pretty average. My next item is the By Terry Ombre Black Star um, Cream Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Frozen Quartz. Uh, if you watch my makeup videos, you'll know that I'm super obsessed with the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Yogurt. It is essentially a champagne pink color, just a light pink with shimmer. Um, I've been really liking that to put um, as a base for my eyes and sometimes I really like to wear it on its own. So, um, so I discovered this by Terry Cream Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Frozen Quad and I feel like it's very similar to the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Yogurt. So I decided to get it because I feel like this is just more opaque, it's more shimmery and it the formula is really good, like it really glides on to my eyelids very well and it's also very long lasting and because I feel like it is so opaque, it is more suitable to wear on its own and I don't really need to put on 
any other eyeshadows when I use this I just feel like it's a very nice um, eyeshadow stick for a everyday use and because I'm so obsessed with the champagne pink color right now um, I really like this shade as well okay so for my last item I wanted to get this for a super long time already I think it has been more than a year since I wanted to get it I have been kind of on and off about it because I just I just don't really have the money to afford it so um, as you guys know I'm working right now and I haven't really exactly treated myself to something expensive so I decided to get this like finally so I finally decided to get the Soiva brushes in rose gold and I'm super in love with them I wanted them for so long I wanted them since the original came out I think like the usual black and silver ones and then the rose gold came out and I was dying to have them but I didn't and now I finally have them and I'm super happy about it they're definitely investment pieces to me because I'm not really freaking rich or anything but um, they are affordable but not exactly cheap because um, I got the rose gold set and it costs over a hundred dollars even though if you divide it out um, one brush only costs like thirteen dollars which is pretty cheap for a brush because like even real technique brushes cost like eighteen dollars so I think it's cheaper compared to other brands but it's not really that cheap if I make sense anyway I know that Zoeva came out with the volume 2 for the rose gold brushes but I didn't like whatever that's in the set they had the paint brush a paint face paint a face paint brush and they had eyebrow brush and I basically don't really use all that brushes however in this set I feel like I will definitely be using every single brush because they are essentials okay so I'm just going to briefly go through every single brushes that's in the set and the first one is the 102 silk finish brush um, I had a lot of good things about this particular Zoeva brush and when I know that it's in this um, particular set I immediately know that I would definitely get this over the volume 2 um, rose gold set as you can see it is not clean because I've used it and I feel like it's really soft and it really helps blend the foundation very nicely I will not go too much into that because this is not a favorites video Next is the 106 powder brush. Uh, I've been looking for a powder brush for a really long time because I have one. It's from e.l.f. and it looks like that. As you can see, it's super fluffy and it's really rough and prickly on my face to be honest. So I don't really like it and it's, it's just so big and fluffy like yeah so I've been wanting a new powder brush for quite a long time so I'm actually glad that they included one in this set next is the 127 Luxia cheek brush this is a contour brush and I am currently using a contour brush from Coastal Sen and it looks like that so slight comparison this one's definitely a lot fluffier I think perhaps because I've been using it for a very long time um, but this one I've been using for bronzer so perhaps for this I can try it out for my blushes Next is the 142 concealer brush and um, as you can see this brush is not clean as well because I've used it and this is my first time using a concealer brush prior to that I am always using my fingers or my face uh, foundation brush um, so this is the first time I have a concealer brush I think it's better to have a separate one because um, this one's a lot smaller so you can go to areas which are a little bit more delicate and small to get into like the under eye area next is the 110 face shape brush I didn't know what what this was for initially I thought it's just a smaller version of the silk finish um, as you can see it's clean so I have not used it yet apparently it is for contouring but uh, I think it's more for cream contour I'm not sure Moving on to the eye brushes, I have a angled brush, this is the 317 wing liner brush. I have this sort of brush from Coastal Sen but it looks like this and I used to use it for my brows and I'm not sure if you can see but it's not completely angled or flat, it's really frizzy and there's a lot of hairs. 
everywhere so it doesn't really create a very straight line um, so that's the problem of that so I'm happy that they include one as well next is the 227 Lux soft definer brush this is essentially a fluffy blending brush I am using a similar one from Coastal Sands and it looks like this so slight comparison they look pretty much the same um, but the problem is I use this for both blending and contouring my nose so it's pretty tricky because um, so when I'm blending, I want a clean brush, but when I contour, I am using a dark shade. So it's pretty complicated to share a brush with two different uses. The last brush is the 231 Lux Petite Crease. I'm pretty excited to use this. I have not tried it out yet, but um, I'm using one um, similar one from Coastal Sand and it looks like that. It is a lot shorter and stumpier and it's not... Um, like the tip is not as sharp as the Zoeva one, so I'm not sure how application will turn out. I have not tried this yet, so we'll see how it goes. So apart from all the brushes, they also came in this really pretty makeup bag, I guess. It's super huge. I didn't expect it to be this big, but I really like the size of it because I can use it as a clutch or as a makeup bag as well. And I like how it's so wide because a lot of my makeup bags are like thick but they're not wide enough um, so it's really hard to bring real, like white palettes such as eyeshadow palettes or like bronzers and my brushes always cannot fit into my makeup bags like they will just end up sticking out and it's really troublesome because I can't zip fully and sometimes the little like eyeliners will just come out and stuff and I really like how the metal details are in rose gold and I like how they also have a zipper inside because if I were to use this as a clutch, I can store the more important things like my keys into this storage. Yeah. And one amazing thing about this is that it is actually wide enough to store my naked palette. So it's amazing to me because the naked palette is just so wide, I always have trouble um, storing my naked palette. In the end, I'm always putting it out on its own, which is not the best thing to do, I guess. So. so that's all for my beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!